What are each of your most embarrassing moments from elementary school? Ooh. I put my pants on. One. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was it just pants. now? <laughs> yeah, just now. Someone else got to go. I got to think. I have a ton of them, and I know if yeah, I talk I about them, I can think of some really funny ones. One of them was um, when I was playing baseball. Uh, I was the worst baseball player in the world, and I was an athletic kid. Like I was, you know, I was on like serious hockey teams and stuff like that. But I'm so bad at baseball. And we're playing baseball. And my coach finally put me in the infield because he normally played me like deep, deep, deep left center, which isn't even a position. Yeah. They just put the shitty kids out there so that they can all play in the game. I know the field, bro. So he put me in shortstop. It was the first time I ever played infield in my life, and I had to pee so bad. And I was like, there's no fucking chance that I'm leaving this field right now. And I peed right there at shortstop, and it was amazing. That's pretty awesome, actually. And I walked out the field like nothing happened, so all the team mom, like their two team moms came up with a new pair of pants. I was like, no, I'm fine. Because I was also up at bat, and I didn't want to lose my opportunity to bat. In third grade, my parents had to come up to the school because I jumped over the seat of the bus to kiss a girl on the cheek. Ooh. My boys have always been nice. Sick. Oh, I got one. Okay. <laughs> um, we're talking elementary, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. I had to walk around and collect the pens after a test one day, and I fucking tripped and fell, and the pen just went boom. <laughs> no way, really? <laughs> yeah. And I, I got up and just poof, like blood just came gushing everywhere, uh, which good. led to everyone laughing at me, which made sense, I guess. Nice. What's wow. amazing about elementary? No, no, no. School. Because it was so gross to all the other kids, I had to sit in the corner, facing the corner like this. Oh, are you napkin. fucking yeah. kidding me? That's, that's pretty so awesome. That's great. That's great teaching. Yeah. Everyone's Solid. yelling at this kid. Let's put him in the corner <laughs> and make him feel like even more of an outcast. The hole kidding. in his face. How amazing <laughs> is it that in elementary school, if somebody gets really, really hurt, their reaction is to make fun of you? Kids are brutal. It's funny. I, I think mean, we still wow. do it. I think my most embarrassing elementary school moment was when we were on a class trip and I peed my pants and then Billy Madison convinced the rest of the class that it was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number six. What is the best Christmas present you ever received? That's, that is really easy for me. Mm -hmm. so I was actually a drummer when I started in music and I got my, got my first drum set and actually I wish I still had it. Um, and then, and then, but I got rid of that when I got another one and it was a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. And so I asked for a new drum set for Christmas in the eighth grade. I just knew I was getting it. I mean, I knew it. You know, it's one of those things where you just, it's the only thing I asked for, mm -hmm. you know you're getting it. And my parents literally did the Red Rider BB gun thing and I opened all my presents for the for the whole year and no drum set. Oh. So I... Did you say anything or was it just no, in the back of your mind? No, and I, I'm sure that it showed on my face sure. because you were a kid. I started stacking up all my loot like you do, and you know you start to take it to your room, and you know, you know how it is, man. You got this pile of good shit, right? You know? And so my dad was just like it, it was literally just right, like right out of the movie, and I hadn't seen that movie, The Christmas Story, obviously, because I don't think it existed. And um, <laughs> anyway, my dad's just like, "Well, did you have a good Christmas?" And I'm like, "Yeah," and he's and he says. Uh, you know, well, did you get everything that you wanted? And I said, um, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, it was really good or whatever. And uh -huh. all of a sudden I hear this, and he's like, is something wrong? Like, no, nothing's wrong. And I hear this horn honking. Uh -huh. And my brother-in-law is driving up in his pickup like it was fucking timed in a, in a motion <laughs> picture. And he's just yelling, Santa Claus is here! Santa Claus is here! <laughs> And there's a brand new Pearl drum set set up in the back oh of his pickup God. truck. And like I Were started just... crying. Oh my and God. And I was just like the happiest kid in the world. You talk <laughs> about like being awesome for like three months. <laughs> I didn't do shit wrong. <laughs> I think my favorite ever, also when I was a kid, uh, CDs weren't invented when I was a kid. I, was, I had a cassette player. <laughs> But CDs had come out, right? But my parents were obviously still on like the, you know, album, even like maybe eight track, but the cassette train. Well, yeah, and your parents were like hippies, so they were real into music. It's hard to make that transition. Yeah, so they were basically like, this CD thing is never going to catch on. Yeah. Like, what is this? I remember I held out too. Cassettes are the shit, you know? Well, but I wanted a CD player. All my friends were getting, it, you know, CD players, whatever, but they were super expensive back in the day, and, you know, my mom like we know you want this it was the big like boombox style you know cd cassette combo anyway uh but they they got me a cd player and i just wasn't ready 
And anyway, got the CD player, did the same thing, freak out, you know, cry, whatever. It's dawning on me as I tell this story how many things in my life uh, revolve around staying home. <laughs> hey, Mario, get your shit together. Hey, Mario.